What up, YouTube? It's your man, Beefy Bank on Stored. We out here! Woo! Feels good. Man, I'm seeing all kinds of posts about gold oysters being up. And I've cut them on the show, but I've never really cooked with them. And that's one of my favorites. Uh, I got about a quick hour. I got an hour to go get it right now. I'm going to get it in. Let's go. So if I am going to go try to find gold oyster mushrooms, I'm always going to check my grocery store tree that I've known about for a few years first. Oh lordy, she is full of them. Just full of perfect little pins. This is the last gasp of them. The bark is almost gone. That's what they like is the bark, but my goodness, they are definitely still here right now. These are a little old and sunburned, but you know what? It got hot and then it got, they rained, cooled down. Here we are. They're definitely not old, I mean, rotten old. They might be a little tough. They don't look extremely buggy. I mean, I'm definitely going to cut a bunch of these. Look fam, protect your bark on this for real. They like the bark, so don't just be haphazard cutting these off. Um, that bark is what you want to save on this. This tree used to have, I mean, this is a lot of mushrooms, but it used to get more than this. It only They only use the spots where the barks are on this old dead elm tree, you know? Be diligent about it so you don't... Uh, Take your bark off, man. Don't take your bark off. Come on. I like them like this. These tender little nuggets. Get in behind it, underneath it. Take it off. You're always gonna have like a little additional cleaning. These really look bug free. These get super buggy when they get old and they kind of smell pretty bad too, I gotta be honest. Oh, these smell great. Like that's so ideal. And I know it's dirty up underneath here, but I'm just gonna take a scissors and just pop off all these little nuggets. And this is just like wood debris, that's not even dirt. These are saprophyte. These are saprophytic mushrooms, so they're growing off of the wood. They like the bark. So these are definitely a little old and sunburned. So I'm just going to go in underneath and check them out. I mean, that just looks as fresh as it can to me. So considering we're going to be stir-frying these anyway, I think these are just awesome. I'll take clumps like that all day long. The current gills going down the stem, you can see it really good right here, right above my finger. How these gills come all the way down the stem. The current, do more research besides listening to me, but um, I've eaten them off this tree before, they're really, really good. I know for a fact that this is the oyster mushroom I'm going after. Spore print will be whitish, maybe a little bit like of a dirty white. That's a nice bag of oyster mushrooms right there. They're a little dry, but I just all that means is you don't gotta cook the moisture out of them. That's awesome. These are just fresh little nuggets. Let's get to the culinary portion. I got a real tripod, dude. <laughs> so um I've been in there cutting these. I'll tell you what. The only thing that I do is just take it right off at the bottom of the cap. Um, some of these got frozen actually in my fridge, which kind of sucks. It's a couple days later. You can still, they're just dry. You can still see how fresh they are underneath. I mean, they're just perfect. 
Oh, they smell so good. I love how these mushrooms smell. It's like, almost like a perfume. I got one more bunch that I'm gonna trim. Show you how I do that. Here's one last bunch of them. Um, if you're looking in underneath, you could be like, hey, this is a little intimidating. It's kind of gross in underneath there. Yeah, I get it. That's a part of the reason why I just take a pair of scissors and just get in underneath the caps and just start popping them off. So I just mowed through this whole last bunch without it on record like a dumb but I can show you what I've been doing. I'm just taking these scissors and just running them underneath the caps, popping them off. It's that simple. So I have these oyster mushrooms. I'm just going to be hitting these with some cold water. It filled up just past the top of where the mushroom level is. And, and then I'm going to start pulling them out. All I'm trying to do is rinse some of the organic material off of these. Time to get them rinsing. more of a rinser than a soaker when it comes to mushrooms, especially these things. They release so much yellow juice into water. If you leave them in there too long, like, I feel like that's got to be the vitamins and minerals that I'm really going for. Here, check that out. That's what came off of those dirty little suckers just from doing it like that. And you can see that water kind of has a yellow tint to it. So they were already starting to release their stuff. That's all the stuff that we got off of it by doing it like that. I'm not saying they're perfectly clean, but they're a lot better than they were. We had a birthday party yesterday at the house. I'm still not fully recovered, but my neighbor Donnie, shout out to Donnie. Thanks for making the ribs. Donnie made some ribs that were just off the charts good. I can't even imagine trying to eat anything else besides those ribs tonight. So I need a side dish. I want to take these mushrooms and put them into a side dish. I'm going to stir fry these things. I'm going to cut some vegetables uh, out of the garden. And I'm going to make myself a little uh, garlicky, mushroomy side dish. I'm gonna crush it. Let's make a side dish out of some gold oyster mushrooms. Let's get it. I haven't cut any of this spinach yet. It's time to give it a haircut anyway. I cut a whole handful of green onions too. Why not? So I'm doing just about the simplest thing you could ever do. I'm just gonna heat up some olive oil. I know I shouldn't walk with olive oil, but um, even though I'm getting pretty hot in the beginning, I'm not gonna be cooking it very long. So I'm using the olive oil. All right, now my oil. A little bit of onion, that's cooking really fast. Get these mushrooms in. Man, these mushrooms smell great when they cook. I got some garlic 
like that you buy in the oil that's in the big chugs. I'm going to throw some of that in. we got to hurry now so the garlic doesn't burn. Spinach. Spinach from the garden. from the garden. Just so, like it. so that's dinner tonight. Big pile of our mushrooms. Donnie's amazing ribs. Some hummus and a few wheat thins. Let's get a face hit. Bunch of the mushrooms. I did add salt and pepper to this. After it was all said and done, let's get something green on there too. There we go. All the mushrooms, thick cut onion, green and gold till I'm dead and cold, baby. Let's get a face hit. The beauty's in the simplicity. Oniony, two ways. Mushroomy, it's not an aggressive mushroom flavor. It's, they taste good. They're, they're like sweet. And also kind of like they have their own sweetness and when you put garlic on them and salt and pepper it's just like little earthy balls of awesomeness I don't know they're too great these fresh mushrooms I mean these are my wife's favorite she loves them of all the things that I find these are her favorites so she's super excited to have this with dinner tonight get out there and find some mushrooms y'all I'm for real the weather's nice now Get out, get your legs moving. Feels good. Hope to see you out there, because we out here, and I'll catch you on the next one.